Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a ChatGPT version of yourself in just a matter of minutes. Now, disclaimer before I start diving in here is that I'm going to be using a custom GPT in order to do this. Now, custom GPTs, if you're unfamiliar, are only available to those who are members of ChatGPT Plus or enterprise versions of ChatGPT. If you're on the free plan of ChatGPT, unfortunately, you will not have access to custom GPTs. You could technically start a chat and try to mimic yourself doing the chat and all things of that nature and uploading documents. It's just going to be a lot more convoluted and difficult, and your outputs will not be as good versus trying to build a custom GPT of yourself. So why on earth would you want to create a chat GPT version of yourself in the first place? And that's a great question. Before I just start diving into the weeds, I should probably answer that first. Well, let's look at my case. For example, I own a marketing agency and by owning a marketing agency, a lot of what I do has to do with creating content. I do a lot for SEO, paid media. Uh, I do some blog post stuff. I do local SEO. I do emails, right? I do all sorts of things that involve content creation when it comes to owning a marketing agency. And one thing that I struggle struggle with is creating content consistently for my personal brand, whether that's on LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, to some extent, right, all the social platforms. And so by creating a chat GPT version of myself to create content, that is going to 10x my outputs, while also ensuring that I have that personal touch in the content itself, right? By ChatGPT understanding my writing tone, my writing style, how I speak based on transcriptions that I'm going to provide, the content not only will be more efficient as I can produce more at scale, but again, it will also have that personal element of how me, Ryan, sounds versus just ChatGPT just shotgunning its own content that honestly sounds like garbage. All right, so let's start creating this bad boy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and click create on the top right. And then here it's going to bring me to what the screen looks like for creating a custom GPT for the first time. Now, what you can do is there's two tabs here. There's configure and there's create. I'm going to start on configure, but then I'm going to come back to the create tab after I finish the configuration first. So first, there's an option to upload an image. You can use Dolly to generate one. I'm actually going to upload a headshot of myself. I just want to make it as realistic as I possibly can. Uh, and why not just upload a headshot of myself? So there's my headshot. Now, you guys can laugh if you want, you know, do whatever. I just want to upload the headshot here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to name my chat G custom GPT. I'm going to say Ryan Dozer AI agent. And I already had some work done before I started filming this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a description. I'm going to say you will be my personal AI agent to help me complete various tasks related to marketing and content creation. Obviously, you would change this to whatever type of task that you're trying to accomplish. And then when it comes to instructions, I have all sorts of things ready to go here. So I'm going to copy and paste, bring that over here. And in this example, some of the more detailed instructions that I'm going to provide it are the following. You are an expert in artificial intelligence, chat GPT, SEO, PPC, etc. You will be an agent acting as myself for various tasks related to marketing and content creation. In all of your outputs, please follow the provided instructions. And this is very important. Use the provided knowledge to mimic my writing style. Use a writing tone that shows expertise, seriousness, and empathy. Sounds like it was written by a human. Make it understandable. Do not use the following words or phrases. This is a very important detail, right? Because ChatGPT is known for using certain words all the time. Dell, vibrant, landscape, realm, embark, excels, vital, uh, moreover, arguably, intriguing, sail into the future, ethical considerations, realm, area, right? There's all these different phrases and terms that if you see it, you knew chat GPT, write it. So you want to avoid that at all costs. Also include relevant statistics, examples, or quotes. Um, this is just good to back up claims if you're doing anything related to blog posts, articles. Just good to have that little detail in there. For conversation starters, I mean, you can do whatever you want, right? You could do write me an SEO optimized um, blog post. We could do um, write me a LinkedIn post because I write a lot of LinkedIn posts. Um, we could do help me respond to questions. Let's do help me respond to PR questions 
from reporters. As I have a PR associate pitching me to the media, I can then use AI to help me answer these questions in a more efficient manner. Um, and we can just start there. We'll start with these three. And then this is where it gets important here. So knowledge, you can upload files, uh, whether it's PDFs, it can be, I think, Word docs, all sorts of other files you can upload here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a PDF version of my LinkedIn profile. Yes, you can save your LinkedIn profile as a PDF. I'm not going to show you how to do that. You can just look that up and there's a quick tutorial somewhere. Um, but this will help ChatGPT understand not only my experience of what I've accomplished, but also it'll help understand my writing style because I've written all the my description, my bio, all the things I've done for each position that I've had in certain jobs. Um, this is just good to have, right? Having a PDF of your LinkedIn profile. Now, what you can do here is I'll just leave web browsing on. I'll leave Dolly image generation on. I'm also going to turn on code interpreter and data analysis. Now, I don't think this is essential, but I'm just going to leave it on just in case. Um, you can click create a new action. This is where it gets sophisticated, right? So if you want to go off OpenAI's platform by doing some, some sort of API calls, uh, you can do things here, but we don't need that in this example. Um, so I believe that's it. You can use con conver conversation data in your GPT to improve our models. We'll just leave that checked. And then I'm not going to click create yet. Next, I'm going to come over to the create portion here on the tab. And this is very important. So now what I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to say, um, if I provide transcriptions of podcasts that I've been on, can you use this in your writing style to mimic my, uh, let's see, my tone. And I spelled transcriptions wrong, but you'll see where I'm going with this here shortly. So I'm going to hit enter and then it says, yes, I can certainly use transcriptions of your podcast to better mimic your tone. Please upload the transcriptions and I'll incorporate your style into your responses. So I've been featured on several podcasts here related to marketing and AI, uh, five or six as I'm just scrolling through here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy and paste each transcript, and I'll skip ahead, I'm not gonna do all of this in the video, but I'm just showing you what I'm going to do is I'm gonna copy and paste each transcript from the podcast that I've been on, copy it, come back to ChatGPT, paste it, click enter, and then it's going to say, thank you for the transcription. It's gonna give an example here. Um, and then I'm going to do this for every other podcast that I've been on. So that way this custom GPT can memorize and keep track of how I respond. And the more data that you give this tool, the better your responses will be in terms of mimicking your writing style. All right, so I went ahead and uploaded all of the different, or excuse me, copy and pasted all of the different podcast transcriptions that I've been a part of. And I believe this was five podcasts or so. So this took a little bit to copy and paste. And just at the very end, what I did is I said, that should be it for now. Reference these transcriptions of podcasts I've been featured on when it comes to your outputs and trying to sound like me. So that's the last part I'll do with create. The other thing I wanna do inside the configure tab here is I wanna come in and upload another file. So I have a bio here, I believe it is right here. I have a bio that I use for all the speaking engagements that I do, um, I have podcasts I'm on, people need a bio to reference who I am at the very beginning. Um, so having a bio written in your own words is actually very valuable too for these AI tools. That's just a little tip there. And so then what I did is I made that into a PDF. You could do this as a Word doc, I believe too. Um, and I uploaded the PDF of that bio inside my custom GPT, along with my LinkedIn profile, along with the custom instructions, and then along with what I just did with adding those podcast transcriptions as well. So again, guys, I'm gonna reiterate this. The more data of you on the internet, whether it's podcast interviews, any YouTube videos that you've done yourself, which is your tone and you're not reading off of a script, any articles that you've written, um, any you could even do social media to some extent, right? Any social media posts that you've written, I could copy and paste those in here as well. Um, I might do that later. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, really just any content of you speaking or you writing written text on the internet, make sure that you're uploading as much data as possible to chat GPT so it can have a better understanding of how you sound to make better outputs. Uh, that's the name of the game with these AI tools. So now what I'm going to do in the top right is I, I think I'm pretty much done for now is I'm going to click create. 
And here I have the option, I can make it private, I can add it to the custom GPT store if I want. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do anyone with the link and click save, is I'll actually leave a link to this custom GPT in the video description below. So for those of you who are members of ChatGPT Plus and wanna just see what I did here and start playing around with something that sounds like me, uh, you can definitely do that. So you can find that link in the video description below. All right, so my custom GPT of my personal AI agent is now complete. So one other quick thing I wanna show you to access this quickly is I'm gonna click the back button here and on the very top, what you'll see is you'll see an option that says keep in sidebar. So if for whatever reason, you don't see your custom GPT on your sidebar, you can click this drop down, click keep in sidebar, and now you can easily access your custom GPT. So if I go back to the home screen, uh, refresh of chat GPT, click the down button, here is my custom GPT that I just created. And on a similar note, if you click that drop down, uh, you can actually you know, come back into the GPT if you wanna make further updates. So if you click edit GPT, it takes you right back to the same screen. So let's say there's another podcast that I was on. I can copy and paste that transcription right here. And now that's more data to add to its collection or if you wanna update some custom instructions, if there's another PDF or Word doc that you wanna upload, you can definitely do that. Um, so it's always good to come back and just start tweaking these custom GPTs when more data is available. All right, so now let's put this custom GPT to the test. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a very basic example, um, and I'm gonna say, help me write a LinkedIn post when I provide the topic. And so it says, sure, I'd be happy to help with that. Please provide the topic. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna say, uh, the topic is SEO and why business owners should look to diversify their traffic due to volatile algorithm updates and the flood of AI generated content. Make the post valuable and insightful. Don't use emojis or hashtags, use a maximum of 500 characters. And most importantly, make sure the post sounds like me based on the instructions that I provided. Now I'm gonna make sure these are spelled correctly so I'm not you know, missing anything here. I'm gonna hit enter. And it says, absolutely, here's a post. Uh, in today's landscape, relying solely is a risky game. Uh, your business sudden drops, social media marketing and paid ads. Not only mitigates these risks, but builds a more resilient online presence. Adaptability is key to staying ahead. So not bad. I mean, I could definitely copy and paste this and just use this to post on my LinkedIn. Um, and you could also say, uh, great, create three uh, different variations of this post that would make it enticing to someone who wants to learn more about SEO. Make sure that's spelled correctly, that's very important. So let's do variations, click enter. And you see where I'm going with this is it's gonna provide me more variations and maybe I didn't like the way that that first one sounded. Well, I like variation one or I like variation two, um, right? So and it's also, it's using the data that I provided from all those podcast transcriptions, the PDF of my LinkedIn, the bio, right? And so that's why this is so valuable is you can really use this to scale your content creation. And if I wanted to come in here, I could copy and paste this and schedule out LinkedIn posts for weeks, if not months, honestly, if I wanted to do text prompts. And if I wanted to do an image too, you could say, great, now generate me an image based on the context of this LinkedIn post. Make the image engaging enough for someone to pause and read my post. So I'm just curious to see what it's going to give me here. I'm gonna click enter, and then it's going to generate an image, and I'll skip ahead really quick just to make sure I'm not wasting your time. All right, so here's the image that it created. Again, it's not perfect. I could go back and say, please don't add text in this image, but it's not bad. I mean, I could definitely use this and typically how it works on LinkedIn is if you have image or videos, it helps your engagement. Um, so it's always good to just leverage these tools for as much as we possibly can. 
So that's it, guys. That is how you create a ChatGPT version of yourself in just a matter of minutes. I really hope that you found this video helpful and useful. And if you want to you know, find more videos on my channel and just more tutorials related to AI, I would really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. Give me a like on this video. Also comment below. Are, have you guys created versions of yourself using ChatGPT? Have you done this inside Claude Projects? I just want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. You can also visit AIinsidertips.com as I have several written versions of all the topics that I cover if you prefer written over video. Uh, but that's it, guys. Really hope you found this video valuable. Appreciate your time, and I hope you all have a great day.